My journey into technology is not a typical one. The person at the zoo who gives you fun facts about the animals, that was my job for a while. And I was invited to give a TEDx Bristol talk, and mine was on LGBTQ in the animal kingdom, and how people say that being queer is, quote, not natural. As a queer person and a biologist, I felt well situated to explain why that doesn't make any sense at all. So I opted to give this talk, but in order to do that, I felt it was important to come out to my family. That was very challenging, um, it didn't go extremely well. And so I had a lot of different challenges, some of which were financial. So I decided in order to build a better future for myself, I would become a software engineer. I didn't have any previous experience, but I taught myself to code using YouTube and other online resources. So I became a professional developer. And then reflecting on my experience as a queer person, I decided to use those skills to build this project to give back to my community. So my own experience of coming out as queer was not easy. And I couldn't help but feel that if um, those individuals that were hostile, if they'd been to a space like a museum that really centered and celebrated queer stories, maybe they would have felt or acted differently about it. I don't have the resources to build a physical museum, but I do have the skills to build a virtual one. I'm a VR developer professionally, as well as an AR augmented reality developer. VR especially really gives this ability to build anything from nothing. I always say it's the closest thing to magic that I've ever experienced. You can build an entire world from your imagination. So as you explore the museum, you'll see different objects on plinths, and each object is paired with an audio story. There's 16 different objects. There's also 25 different artworks, which are all by queer creators all over the world. To me, representation means treating stories that are underrepresented, whether that's queer stories or black stories or women's stories or stories of people with disability, um, as equal and treating them with equal dignity, equal respect and giving them an equal platform. Digital spaces have always been a safe haven for people who otherwise can't access their community. I, from a young age, even with dial-up internet, I would jump on the internet and find online video games where I could connect with people. As a queer person in a household where it wasn't safe to come out, that was really the only way I could safely connect with other LGBT people and be honest about my own identity. Immersive technology really unlocks different possibilities. If you go into a VR social space, you can experiment with gender, with identity. So I often spend time in, in VR social spaces as um, an inanimate object. And I like doing that because it means people don't immediately judge me based on my age or based on my gender. I guess my ideal experience is that people feel maybe challenged in some way. Maybe they realize some assumptions they've made about their own experiences, whether they're queer or not leave feeling more committed to allyship to the queer community and uh, hopefully moved and, and, and touched emotionally in some way.